5. Describe what happens in a flower from the time of pollination up to the time of seed and fruit development. After pollination, the pollen grain absorbs nutrients from the stigma, and develops a pollen tube, it grows down the style to 5. Describe what happens in a flower from the time of pollination up to the time of seed and fruit development. After pollination, the pollen grain absorbs nutrients from the stigma, and develops a pollen tube, it grows down the style to the embryo sac, taking along the male nuclei. The tube nuclei initiates and maintains pollen tube growth, while the generative nucleus divides by mitosis, to form two male gamete nuclei, which follow behind the tube nucleus as the pollen tube grows down the style. Pollen tube enters the ovule through the micropyle, its tip bursts open, while the tube nucleus disintegrates, one of the male gamete nucleus fuses with the egg cell nucleus slash oosphere slash megaspore, to form the zygote. While the other fuses with the two polar nuclei, to form a triploid nucleus, called the primary endosperm nucleus. 56. After fertilization, the zygote undergoes repeated mitotic divisions, to form an embryo consisting of the plumule, radical, and seed leaves cotyledons. Primary endosperm nucleus divide repeatedly become separated by membranes, to form an semi-fluid nutritive endosperm. Ovary walls change into the pericarp, ovary changes develops into a fruit, while ovules lose water and become seeds, the integuments, change into seed coats testa, style slash filaments slash petals slash sepals wither and fall off, or may persist. 6. Discuss the adaptations of the female reproductive system. Elastic uterine walls, to expand so as to accommodate the growing fetus. Muscular foot of the pelvis and bladder support the weight of the growing fetus. Funnel-shaped ends of the oviduct, direct the over-release to the uterus. 57. Muscular uterine walls, contract and relax to expel the fetus at birth. Long vaginal canal, allow sufficient entry of penis to avoid wastage of sperms. The two ovaries maximize chances of releasing ovum after every circle, 28 days. Ovaries are well vascular is to have good blood supply. To ensure nourishment of cells involved in oogenesis. Primordial mother germ cells, or egg formation. High number of potential mother cells, ensures maximum number of ova which develop to maturity. Plenty of yolk in egg cells, which nourish the fetus before the placenta becomes functional. The vitellin membrane of the ovum thickens after fertilization, preventing further entry of sperms. The oviduct wall is able to contract, in order to facilitate movement of ovum down the oviduct. Has cilia to waft the ovum forward, wall of the vagina vulva produce mucus, to lubricate the penis during copulation. 58. Clitoris has many nerve endings, to provide maximum stimulation during copulation for maximum ejaculation and faster movement of spermatozoa. 7. Describe the process of gaseous exchange in terrestrial plants. Gaseous exchange occurs in the spongy mesophyll. Mm -hmm.